Namibia's local diamond production for 2017 and 18 financial year was over 1,8 million carats. Nandia and other side holders were offered 240,000 carats of Nandab's runoff mine production worth 360 million US dollars equal to about 5,1 billion Namibian dollars. Compared to the 291 million US dollars of about 4 billion dollars in 2016 and 17. In its annual report, the company's total revenue for the year was $2 billion, and it paid a total of $80 million in taxes and export duties. This leaves the company with $139 million after tax profits. Namdia received a total between 12 and 23 million US dollars per cycle every five weeks, which is 10 times per annum to purchase rubbed diamonds from NDTC. This has enabled Namdia to become self-sustaining as we have been able to build up much needed cash reserves, which further enhanced our ability to mitigate financial risks by using such cash reserves as collateral for further diamond pipeline financing. Hamutanya says the market conditions are becoming less favorable due to threats of synthetic diamonds and liquidity issues in the Indian market. It is of the utmost importance that the midstream diamond pipeline is sufficiently financed as we sell most of our stones in the secondary market to buyers that are vertically integrated with major cutting operations and closer to the end user. And therefore, their liquidity is critical for the sustainability and the ability of Namdia's operations. Receiving the dividends, Tom Arendo urged local downstream industry players to prioritize value addition in the diamond industry. So that's important, and I think it's for all, it's for all of us to continue to do whatever is possible, uh, whatever uh, uh, incentives, positive or negative, whatever it is, must be done for us to continue really to grow the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the manufacturing side of, of, of the diamond sector. Uh, we do have uh, about 11 uh, companies that are doing polishing and cutting, or those who have got licenses. But we also know that not all of them actually do cut or, or do polish all the diamonds that they get from the NDTC. Uh, a number of them are still continuing to actually ex export their rough diamonds. Namibia's mining sector grew by about 12% in 2017 and contributed the same percentage to the country's GDP. Chilena Fuka, Bentuk.